Church family, I hope you guys are doing well this morning. So today we're going to continue with the Lord's Prayer and we're looking at the lines, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Or some people say, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Or some people say, uh, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. There's a lot of different ways of saying this line, but it all kind of means the same thing. We're asking God to forgive our sins, but we're also asking Him to forgive others who have sinned against us. So this morning there is another coloring sheet for you to do. Uh, please take your time and, and color in the, the picture, but also put some ideas that you've learned from the children's message or from the sermon this morning. Color that and send it to me. Take a picture, send it to me, and uh, I will pass it on to our congregation. So thank you in advance for doing that. So in order for me to show you how sin affects us and how God forgives us, I thought maybe I would show you a science experiment. I hope that you enjoy it. For this demonstration, we have three jars. One represents God, one represents our sins, and one represents us. Sin entered this perfect world through Adam and Eve's poor choice in the garden. Now we have sin in our lives. That sin can show up as anger. Maybe when we hit something in frustration or we say mean things when we become angry with someone. We can sin when we lie to someone, when we don't tell the truth about what really happened or stay quiet about what's true and right. We can sin when we bully each other, when we say or do things that hurt others and bring others down. So we are sinful, and when we are full of sin, we can't have a close relationship with God. So God sent his son Jesus into the world to die on the cross, to pay the ultimate sacrifice for all of our sins. And it's through his suffering that we can be cleansed by any sin that we have. When we pray, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, we are asking God to take away our sins and the sins that others do to us. God is perfect. He is pure and has never and will never sin. So sin cannot change him or his character. When both God and us are sinless, we can have a close relationship with him. Wow, isn't that amazing? When God sent Jesus into this world, he sent him to forgive our sins. So through Jesus, we can ask for forgiveness and we can be pure and clean from our sin so that we can have a closer relationship with God. How amazing that is. Let's pray to God and thank him for this wonderful opportunity of forgiveness. Thank you to the Tobacco family who is going to pray the Lord's Prayer with us. Girls, take it away. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.